Hi, this is Jane with the Tahlequah Public Library, and uh, we're going to take a quick look at some movies and TV shows that are going to be coming out soon that came from books originally. And uh, one of them uh, most people have heard of, but the other two you may never have heard of. The first one is actually a children's book. It's a children's chapter book. It's called Night Books and it's by J.A. White. This um, book will be coming on Netflix pretty soon and the library usually gets Netflix, uh, will get the DVD of Netflix movies and TV shows usually a few months after they uh, come out. But um, according to what I've been able to read, the book Night Books is going to be coming to Netflix sometime in 2021. And it's a fantasy story about, uh, and it has scary parts in it. So it's a fantasy story about a boy named Alex and he uh, leaves his apartment one evening and um, he's captured by an evil witch who takes him to her magical apartment and holds him captive, kind of like a Hansel and Gretel type thing. And also in the apartment is a young girl named Yasmin. And so the two of them have to figure out how they can get away from the evil witch and get back to their own world. And um, the girl Yasmin tells Alex, so the only way we can escape is if we get the bone key. So while they're trying to get the bone keys away from the witch, they have to think of a way to survive. And Alex loves scary stories and he's made up scary stories of his own. So throughout the book, he entertains the witch with scary stories to um, keep himself alive. In night books, they also have little sections in the, uh, in the story of the boy's tales, of Alex's tales. And so you get to read the little stories that he wrote and um, they're actually in a different kind of print so that you know the difference between the regular narration and the stories that the boy tells. And they also have little tips for writing and so you know kids that are reading this or even adults can read it and get little tips on how to be a better storyteller and how to be more creative. I don't know what happens in the end, but uh, I do know it's coming on Netflix. It's got really good reviews. I read a few pages of the this book on my own and I thought it was interesting enough that I'm actually gonna take it home and read it myself. It is available as an ebook through the library and also a digital audiobook. I haven't heard the narrator's voice, so um, I'm not really sure uh, how, how the narrator is, if it's uh, you know good narration or not, but um, it is available since it's Hoopla, you don't have to do any waiting. And like I said, Nightbooks is kind of like a modern uh, tale of the Arabian Nights, you know, where you have to tell a different story every night. Or like a Hansel and Gretel thing where the boy and the girl have to trick the uh, witch into uh, letting them get away. And then the next book is kind of a thriller, suspense, uh, actually it's a, a series of books and the uh, series of books is going to be made into a television show that will be appearing on Prime Video, so Amazon Prime Video, sometime in 2022, I guess they're filming it right now. The TV show and the first book in the series is called The Terminal List. The books are written by a former Navy SEAL, his name is Jack car it's a pseudonym so I don't know what his real name is the TV show on uh, Amazon Prime which the library will get on DVD after, a few months after its release the TV show is starring uh, Chris Pratt as the uh, main character whose name is James Reese and the basic idea behind the uh, book and the TV show is the na uh, this Navy SEAL leader he and his squad or platoon I don't know what they call the, the military group but anyway, they're ambushed on one of their missions and everybody uh, is killed but him, evidently. I think most of them are killed but him. And so he returns home and on the day that he returns home, uh, some people that are very close to him are murdered. So uh, the main character, James Reese, spends the book trying to uh, avenge the lost teammates, his military uh, squad mates, and the family members that he loses. 
and I'm not sure, you know, exactly how well the TV show will follow the books, but it has a lot of, when I looked at the cast of people that are in, it has a lot of people whose faces I recognize. I don't know what their names are, but I do know that these books are pretty popular here at the library. You can get some of them as ebooks. You can get a couple of them as digital audio books. I listened to the first book on audio, just a little sample of it, and the narrator was a good narrator, and it seemed pretty exciting. I mean, these books are really fast paced suspenseful they have high reviews he does have four books that are published now in the series the fourth one just came out and I believe he has a fifth one coming out in 2022 but like I said it is being made into a TV show for Prime Video which is supposed to come out uh, sometime in 2022 and then the last book is Persuasion by Jane Austen. They are making a new movie, and this is also for Netflix. Uh, it, this one is starring uh, Dakota Johnson as the main character, Anne Elliot. If you've never read Persuasion before, it's not as well known as Pride and Prejudice, Emma, Sense and Sensibility. Uh, they have made several movies of Persuasion in the past. I think it's a good book. I mean, I like it probably second after Pride and Pre Prejudice, but it's a story of a, of a woman and her family. Uh, you know, they're not aristocratic. They're like the other characters in the Jane um, Austen books, but she has a chance to marry a man when she's in her early 20s and her family thinks that he is not of a high enough position for her in society. And so they talk her out of marrying him and he goes away and uh, years go by, she never marries anybody else, and so since this is the 19th century, she's considered, you know, kind of washed up. And uh, she's now in her late 20s, and she and her family have to move to Bath in England and rent out their manor house because her family spent all their money and they don't have any money left. So they're renting out their manor house and going to live in a small apartment in, not, you know, too small, but in an apartment in Bath. And when she's there, she happens upon on this man who she had known years before and decided not to marry and it turns out that he went away uh, to the Navy and fought in the Napoleonic Wars and now he's a captain and he's risen much higher in society and she wishes that she could um, renew her acquaintance with him again and to see if she has any chance of possibly marrying him again and so you, um, it's actually a pretty good story. You, uh, you just have to wait and see if Anne gets the uh, captain or if she ends up being, I guess, an old maid again. But they're making it the story again. The other versions we have on DVD of Persuasion are pretty good. I like both of them, but this one I'll probably watch too because I watch all of those British uh, movies, especially the Jane Austen ones. But um, those are the three uh, books that we have for this Quick Looks, and all of them are going to be made into movies or TV shows in the near future. So we'll see you next time. Bye.